Okay, so here we are. We've rigged these earrings to follow Genesis 2 female and to be able to move on their own. But as you can see here, when you morph the head, they don't do such a great job. Furthermore, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, set the parameters on them so that... Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and set the parameters on them. There it is. So that the bones are always visible. And you can see that the bones for the earrings haven't followed either. So not only does the mesh get destroyed, but the bones stay back here so you can't really bend them anymore. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to fix both of those here real quick. Um, first thing we're going to do is put Genesis 2 female back. There we go. Alright, and I'm going to do this. You can come over here to the property hierarchy, you go to the parameters, find the morph that got created, delete it. Um, if you do that though, then you got to unfit the earrings from Genesis 2 female and then refit the earrings to Genesis 2 female because Studio still thinks that it's already created that morph or they made it much easier select the earrings and you right click on scene tab to bring up the menu you go to assets you go clear generated morphs and it does all that for you so now that that uh, FVM girl head morph isn't there anymore or the FHM girl morph isn't there anymore um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to set this up so that it morphs well. We've already set it up so that it, it it's rigged um, so that it follows follows Genesis two females head, and you can bend the earrings, but it doesn't work well if you if you try to do morphing. So we're going to set up to do that. First thing we're going to do come back here to the geometry editor tool, and get our tool setting tab back up. Um, going to go ahead and select everything. We're going to create a rigidity uh, group and we only need one because it's all the same. We want everything to, to morph the same. Yeah. So we're going to select all the polygons because I've got these groups handy. It makes it easy. And then I'm going to go geometry selection, convert selection to a vertex selection. And that also kicks me over here to the vertex editor as opposed to the polygon editor. I'm going to right click and they're all selected. That's the main thing. Um, create a rigidity group from the selected. We're going to call this uh, left. Now I'm going to hide this two female. We're going to go and we're going to pick one polygon out of all these polygons to choose from. Uh, selection clear. We're going to choose one polygon. I think that's one. Nope, that was four. You can't do more than one polygon. It seems to me it tends to work better if you pick one. Basically we're gonna we're gonna set it up so that we're gonna say all the polygons um, should do what this one vertex does. Or all the verts. There we go. All the verts, because it's it's vertex based, which is why it's in the vertex selection thing. So I'm gonna just keep clicking until I get one. I mean I could do two, but there we go. No, I don't like that one. There's a reason I was picking it from here. Um Basically, yeah, find one one vertex um, that basically is going to control the rest of them. I'm going to pick one kind of close to where the ear goes through the earring or the earring goes through the ear right there. That way, everything is going to follow. If we wanted to be real exact, we'd pick like that one. But let me see if I can do this. Remove the selected. Nope. You can't just remove all. Oh, well. We'll do this. Select that one. Now we'll remove selected. Now I've got one selected. Now I've got two selected. There. Okay, bugger it. We're going to leave two. Which two? Yeah, they're right next to each other. When you get more than one polygon selected, or one, more than one vertex selected, it just takes the average of them. And so it still gets, you still get the same effect. But we've got a, or we've got a vertex selected um, right there where it contacts. Uh, Genesis 2 female, because obviously that's the point that we want to stay consistent. We want everything to stay consistent based on what that vertex does. So however far that moves, everything's going to move. Whatever that one does, everything's going to do. Um, once we apply the weight mapping, or create the weight mapping. So we've got the group, which is all the all the vertexes in the earring, and we've got the references, which is the two vertexes right there. Now we're going to come back to the weight map tool. With the main node selected, you got the option for unused maps rigid. 
we're going to add that map and I think if we come back to polygons we've got yeah we've got all the polygons selected so we can just go ahead and wait editing fill the selected to 100% because we want it to keep its shape entirely so 100% of the deformation of all the vertexes in the earring is going to be exactly what that one that we or the two that we had selected the average of what those two do is what everything's going to do um, it's not going to project in from like the chin or anything like that it's going to take everything from right there and that's what everything's going to do and show that real quick here to you so we just if it's shaping It is distorting a little bit. Yeah, it's spreading out just a little bit. It's because it's got those two polygons and the girl's head's an extreme morph. That's why I was trying to select just one polygon. I'm going to go back and clean that up, or one vertex. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back and just select the one. I'll just say there we go. Okay, got those two. Remove those. I'm going to hide this ear. I'm going to clear the selection, and I'm going to select one polygon, and I got two. I'm going to turn it so I can see better. Huh. I'm going to zoom in really close. And select one, one, one. One. Okay, so I've got one selected. I've already that morph's already generated. So if I if I do anything now, it's going to do the exact same thing because it's generated the morph at this point. It doesn't regenerate the morph every time. Um, but I'm going to do this just so I can show you that the bones still don't move. So we didn't solve the problem. So what we're going to do is go back to go back to default, select the earrings, right click and assets and clear the generated morphs. Now it'll generate a new morph. If we do that, you can see the earring keeps its shape. There's no distortion or stretching or anything like that. The earring keeps its shape and stays attached exactly um, where it should be. But the bones don't move. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear that, whoops, select the earring and clear that generated morph now just to get it done and out of the way with. And you got that selected. I'm going to go ahead with the, it's the, got to be in the vertex selection option. And then you just right click and we're going to go geometry assignment and rigidity group editor. We're going to tell it transfer bones. We want to transfer the left one. It automatically moves the parents too. Basically what we just told it to do is is look at where the mesh goes and send the bone with it. Uh, and we'll do that real quick here. We go shaping for that. And you can see the bone moves relative to the mesh now. So the mesh goes that way, the bone goes that way, and it takes its child bone with it. And that's all there is to it. It'll take any morph now. Um, take Olympia's head, and the earring moves relative to the ear. The shape doesn't distort. We can pose it independently of the ear. Like I had to show you that. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, so you rig it, you do solid weight mapping, and then you create a rigidity group to keep it from deforming, and then you, what's that called? Then you go into the rigidity group editor and assign a transfer bone. And that gives you, after you, of course, you save it out as a, as a figure prop asset, that gives you preferred practice for creating earrings, scabbers, stuff like that. Um, parent it to Genesis 2 female too because we prefer that. It makes it nice and nice and clean and easy to 
manipulate. And that's it.